Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Pandavic here coming out with a brand new video and today we're going to be unboxing a Venus flytrap plant that I got from flytrapstore.com. I know this is a little bit different of a video, but uh, fly Venus flytraps are something that interests me a lot um, in growing plants and things like that. It may sound a little weird, but something that interests me and I thought it would be a little bit different to put on my channel. It's probably not something I'll regularly do, but if you guys do like it, just let me know in the comments. I'll do some update videos on it probably later on and things like that. So as you can see, I was sort of having trouble getting the box open. It was packaged really nicely. Uh, I really liked how they did it. It protects the plant really well. And I almost had it right there and then it got stuck. And as you can see, I put white out on the actual box just so my address and things weren't, uh, yeah, and all that wasn't showing. But it was packaged really nice, uh, a lot of newspaper in there to protect the plant. It had two sheets right there. One was like a shipping and payment confirmation. Um, and the other one is a Venus flytrap sort of care sheet, which is really cool. Uh, it just kind of says how to water it, how to care for it, uh, what to use for water, how much sunlight it needs, things like that. So if you're really new at growing things like that, uh, it really helps out for for uh, just learning some quick information that you can use to grow it a little bit better. Uh, but you can sort of see it right there. It's covered up by a lot of uh, newspaper and packaging to protect it. Uh, I really, like I said, I really do like how they they uh, packaged it. And it's called a, this one I got is called a FTS Flaming Lips. And the reason they call it FTS Flaming Lips is because it's from the Fly Trap store. So FTS, it's like an exclusive one they bred. Uh, which is really cool. It's kind of unique in its own way. Uh, and you can sort of see right there, FTS Flaming Lips. And the Flaming Lips come from the coloration that the Venus flytrap actually grows. So it can grow in like yellow, orange, and red combinations of colors. And it can grow really cool um, when it becomes more mature. So this is a like baby starter plant. Um, and you'll notice it's going to be a lot smaller because it's in dormant season right now, which is from like November to about February. And that's when they're kind of taking a break. They're kind of in a hibernation mode, I guess you could call it, when they're just kind of not using too much energy. They're growing really small. They're saving up to grow in the summertime and things like that. But as you can see, I was having a lot of trouble getting that top part off because I didn't want to damage the plant, but it was also connected to everything to keep the soil down, to keep anything from falling out and things like that so it was really hard to get off but I cut it with the knife right there and that helped me start to wedge it out a little bit but like I said I didn't want to damage the plant too much and I finally got it off right here and a little bit of the moss or whatever is on the top of it fell out and I just went ahead and put that back on I think it falls out later on in the video but uh, now I was just trying to find like a good angle to show you guys what it looks like. And this one, like I said, it's a, a little baby starter plant. So it hasn't grown too big and it is in dormant season. So it's going to stay really small. But I expect in the summertime for it to get a lot more coloration and um, a lot more bigger traps. But it does have a nice... Uh, few traps growing that have some good color so like your red and green or not green well yeah it has some red and green traps uh, combined with like orange and yellow which I was talking about earlier uh, they look really nice you can sort of see the darker red ones in the back and then the yellow greenish sort of ones towards the front I heard this one can get like a, a like a flame red yellow sort of color so I'm gonna try and see if I can make it or not make it but see if it grows that but I was trying to get a good angle my camera was having a hard time adjusting so that was kind of a problem and I, I what it looked like on the camera was that it wasn't getting enough light so it looked really dark but I'm sort of looking at it now and it looks a lot brighter than I thought it would be um, but I'm really pleased in how they packaged it they came in a really nice container uh, like it's really packaged well nothing's really falling out of it it's tightly uh, packed down and it's also really hydrated it got delayed in the shipping which kind of really worried me a lot but it actually is still really moist and the i didn't really have to water it because in a dormant season you're you're not really supposed to water it too much anyway but um let me know what you guys think of this video i know it's sort of different and things like that but don't forget to subscribe and peace out